see my quarry. It's that pine tree. The biggest one. If you pull off the outer bark of a pine tree, this is for all pine trees, the inner bark, you can either suck on it raw, boil it, or fry it, but uh, it does have some nutritional value. Should be only considered an emergency food is if you really took enough inner bark off of a pine tree to get a, especially if, if it's just one tree. If you took off enough inner bark to get a meal, you'd really damage the tree quite a bit. I'm having trouble deciding whether this is a stand of birch, poplar, cottonwood, or a uh, type of aspen. It has very whitish bark, so I'm leaning towards an aspen. Maybe a birch, but I don't see any of the uh, delamination of the bark typical of a, the uh, birch. Although these are not birch trees, the birch trees during Garnet's retreat in the Civil War, as the uh, Confederate soldiers retreated over the mountains to Montree, Virginia, they stripped and ate the inner bark of the, uh, the black birch. For years afterwards, the way the soldiers went to the, uh, the mountains, it could be followed by peeled birch trees. So the uh, for birch trees, the inner bark and sap, twigs and buds, they're all edible. And the snow is deep here. Probably should add some snowshoes. In Minnesota we have the paper birch, not the black birch, but uh, that is also edible. Just tried a little tiny piece of the uh, inner bark. It's actually pretty bitter.